first face palm of the series. Um, I was talking about uh, UV coordinates and I was explaining how, you know, in a top left corner you'd have your, uh, your 0, 0 on the X and Y or, you know, U and V. Um, but that's actually, it's actually the bottom left corner. So I was explaining that it would be 0, 0 up the top there, but it's actually the bottom, uh, the bottom, bottom left hand corner. I thought I'd just clear that up, clear my conscience, not like spreading bad words out on, out on the internet. If you ever notice a mistake like that, please post a comment. I'll try to mention it in the next video, that sort of thing. Anyway, moving on. We're talking about spheres, and, uh, and as we discussed, you're going to be inside the sphere, um, wanting to paint around everything that you see. Maybe you want to draw like, a, like, your, like an island, you know, or like a, I don't know, some sort of ocean scene. I feel a very island and ocean would be appropriate. Maybe I'll end up getting to it. I'm, I'm still honing in on my, on my uh, painting with the, with the mouse, you know, this sort of, at this stage sort of craft. Anyway, I'll digress. Um, there's really only three things that we really need to uh, uh, go over to make sure that our spheres are working as we'd expect them to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and demonstrate them by showing what happens if we just try to, for example, uh, go, go ahead into our Unity scene. I'm going to disable this canvas, uh, this canvas object that I have been working with. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a, create a, new, a new, uh, uh, new object, just make a sphere in the middle of the scene. And what happens if we just add that same script? What was it called? It was called the um, uh, Texture Painter, I think. Texture... What was it called? Let's see, I'll jump into my scripts folder. Texture Painter, yeah. So I can go ahead and grab that Texture Painter script and drag that onto my sphere. Okay, now, if I press play, right, we'll see what happens, see how far along it gets. All right, so we're just waiting for that to load. And okay, so it's turned yellow, but as soon as I start to paint it, it seems like nothing's really happening. Now, if I pop down here into this material and I change that sphere view uh, to, uh, to uh, like, let's say, for example, a quad view, I can see that this bottom left-hand corner um, has turned green, but none of the others seem to be turning green. What's going on? Well, there's a really weird thing that's happening. What we're getting is we're getting, um, when it gets that UV coordinate, coordinate, it's defaulting to zero. And if we have a look at the documentation, all the time, Unity documentation just comes to save the day. Let's have a look. Here we go. Um, so our texture coordinate from our Raycast hit in our script, um, if we have a look, a vector 2, 0 is returned if no mesh collider is present in the game object. It's like, oh, that's so strange because in our quad, we have a look at our quad, our quad game object, there's the mesh collider. Have a look at our sphere. Oh, it's got a sphere collider. Oh, no. So <laughs> it's, really not a big, it's really not a big deal. All we've got to do is remove that sphere collider and go ahead and add a mesh collider. And they're going to behave really very similarly. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure what the difference is, but there it is. If we go ahead and remove the, uh, the sphere collider, add a mesh collider, we should be able to get that behavior that we expected where we're painting the sphere. Of course, at the moment, we're painting the outside of the sphere, which isn't, isn't what we've really got in mind, right? So the next step we want to do is we want to be able to turn off the, um, turn off the outside faces of the sphere and turn on the inside fa faces. So to demonstrate that, let's say, for example, I move, you look in this editor view, I move inside the sphere and everything disappears. I'm inside the sphere, it's not there. That's because the back faces of this object by default will not be rendered. Only the outside faces of a, of a mesh will be rendered. And so we're going to have to create our own little custom shader. Well, really, we're going we're gonna to actually, we're going to take a Unity shader. We're going to copy it completely and change one line or add one little line to it. And I'll show you how we can do that. So we've got all our Unity shaders. Um, let's say, for example, we want to... Uh, uh, we we want to, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll create a material and I'll show you what we're sort of working with. So materials folder, remember our materials are kind of like a, they're the, they're the game or, or they're the object that, that, um, that holds the shaders in them. So I can go ahead and create a new material. I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to call this a uh, inside, what do I call it? Back, back face shader. I'll call it, it's going to be unlit as well. So unlit, unlit back face um, and it's not a shader, it's, I'll call it a mat, right? And so up here, we can choose what shader we want our material to have. 
And what we want to do is we want to take this unlit texture shader that comes by default with Unity, and we want to edit that, change, literally change one line of code in that. But we can't actually access it by default in Unity. What we need to do is I'll leave a link in the description for this. Uh, I'll leave a link for all these, all these pages that I'm looking at. What we want to do is we're going to want to go to this Unity download archive. And this is going to allow us to download all of Unity's built-in shaders. So I can go ahead and click that. And then that's going to give us the actual code, the, the source code for these shaders that we can start playing around with and working with. So if I go ahead and open that up, let's see, what's that going to, OK, here we go. I can go ahead and open up this uh, shaders folder. I'm just going to search for the word unlit. And let's just have a look what comes up. There's a there's a little bit of knowing, like I just happen to know, like oh, I've sort of like played around a little bit with what 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 exact shader we're looking for. Um, it's called the um, let's see, I'm not sure why this isn't searching. Go Windows. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're looking for the unlit normal shader. I'm not sure why it's called that. It's really that's the equivalent of the unlit texture shader in Unity. So I can go ahead and, let's see if I can do that. Go ahead and drag that into my Unity project. I hope you can see what's sort of going on there. I'm sort of, I'm taking that, uh, I'll minimize this one. Okay, yeah. So what I'm doing is just going ahead and I've dragged that unlit normal shader into my Unity project. Which means, now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it, call it unlit backface. Because that's literally all we're doing is we're changing it from being a, a regular unlit shader um, to being a, uh, unlit uh, backface only shader. Um, it, all that, the only thing that unlit means is it means it's not going to worry about lighting. That's really all that means. Um, that get into it. It's just like yeah, it's really kind of the simple, a simple version of a shader. It's kind of going to show the pixels of the texture, and really that's kind of its its real sort of main job there. Now, if we have a look in this uh, sub, we don't have to worry about any of this. We don't even know what any of this works. I'm just going to go straight to line 16. Make a bit of space in there. I'm just going to add one line here. It's going to be cull front. Now there's there's I think there's about I think there's three things we could add in there. We can either say cull back, cull front, or cull off, which means cull um, by default it's cull back, right? So by default it means draw only the front faces and cull, which means don't draw all the back faces of our mesh. Um, cull off means draw both the front and the back faces. Which means, you know, if we were inside the sphere, we'd see the back faces. If we're outside the sphere, we'll see the front faces. But what we want to do is we want to cull the front, which means we'll only see the back faces of the sphere. Kind of, it's, it's a weird thing. It doesn't really, um, there's no shape really comes to mind that, that acts like, you know, in, in real life. I'm trying to think of a natural time when you see the only inside of something. Um, yeah, it doesn't really exist. But... But yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll sort of see what it looks like once we jump into it. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. So that's really the only line we're adding there. Save that. Um, jump back into the Unity script. Oh, actually, no, you know what? There's one thing I forgot to do. I always forget this. I've got to go up to this shader unlit. I'm just going to go ahead and change the name of it. This is where it's going to appear in that drop down menu on our material. I'm going to go to custom. Uh, I'm going to call it, what is it? Unlit backface. Unlit back face. Okay, and that's going to make it really easy for us to find it. Jump back into Unity. And now, all we need to do is on our um, unlit back face material, I believe we can even just drag the shader onto the material. And that should, yeah, there we go. Like, the only thing that's changed there is the name. It's kind of essentially the same shader as that unlit texture. Except what we're, what's going to happen is if we go ahead and drag that material onto our, onto our object, onto our sphere, the only way we can really tell at the moment is you can see these grid lines. You see how they're kind of going in? It kind of means it looks like the inside of an amphitheater, you know, like, you know, those like uh, concert halls with a, you know, big field behind them or something, you know, like, uh, yeah, so it kind of looks like the inside of a, inside of a, inside of a circle or, yeah, inside of a sphere. Um, that's, yeah, so what that really means is... Um, we're going to be able to see the inside of the sphere, but there's still something weird's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and press play. We just see what happens, see how it goes. Remember, it was working on the outside of the sphere before. And now if I go ahead and start drawing, it's like it's drawing something, but why can't we see it? What is going on? There's something really weird happening. 
<laughs> it's okay. All this is doing is remember, remember how this is working. How are we getting, how is the, how is the, um, when we click, how is the mouse deciding whereabouts on the sphere it's hitting? Well, it's actually using a physics method. It's actually using a, a collision. So it's saying um, the first part of the, the collider, that mesh collider that we hit, that's going to be where I'm going to draw those UVs. So notice I'm, I'm right here on this uh, scene view. Let's see a point to it. A point to it, yeah. On the scene view, this one, uh, you will notice that we, we actually are seeing it. This is on the other side. I've, I've put the, the scene view camera on the other side from the game view camera. So everywhere I draw, it's kind of appearing. You know, I'll, st I'll, start, the, I'll start the game again so we can really see what's happening. Yeah, so it's kind of drawing on the front face, but rendering only the back faces. You know, it's kind of a weird thing that's happening. So it's kind of doing the, the uh, unexpected behavior. And so there's a way for us to fix this. And what we want to say, remember how this is going to be. This is going to be like, imagine if you've, if you've seen like a 360 video. We're going to be in the inside of a sphere, looking around it, painting outside. So what we want to say by default, let's say, for example, if I put the camera... If I put the camera just at uh, zero, zero, if I put the camera in the middle of the sphere, right, all we'll be able to see is a, a wide at the moment. Now, if we try to do that, I just want to demonstrate what's happening here, is we're actually going to find that the, by default, that, that, physics, uh, that physics ray cast will not test against um, the back faces of, of the mesh collider, of, the, yeah, of, of our sphere's collider. So we're not getting anything drawn at the moment. Yeah, so, so how we got to do this, how we got to fix this one, is we just got to go ahead and go into Assets, uh, not Assets, sorry, um, Edit, Project Settings, Physics, and there's this little checkbox here called Queries Hit Back Face. Queries Hit Back Face, is that what it says? Yeah. Yeah, and all that does is that, um, that makes sure that we're going to, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to test positive, it's going to return a hit if we hit the back face of, a, of the mesh collider, as well as, the, as well as the front face. But of course, when we're inside the sphere, we're only going to be hitting the back faces, right? All right, so, so yeah, I'll go ahead and press play. See how that's all coming along. All right, and so now we've got kind of the, the first stages of what we might imagine our, um, our, our sphere painting application to be. Um, yeah, okay, there's so many things I want to do here. The first thing I want to do is I just want to, I just want to uh, reduce that resolution so I can see a little bit better what I'm drawing. And as well as that, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly create a, a camera control. I'm going to change this to 64 by 64. Getting a little bit, a little bit ready for a new foreground and background color. So maybe I'll go to this, go to this hot pink, hot pink in a foreground and Oh, I know, like a, yeah, like a deep blue in the background, maybe a bit darker. Let's see how that looks. All right, and now, what was the next thing I was doing? Completely, completely brain farted. Next thing I was going to do was I was creating this, and then I was like, oh, yeah, foreground color, background color, and as well as that, I also... Oh yeah, I want to make a camera controller. That's right. I want to excuse all that. I want to make a camera controller. So I want to be able to I want to be able to rotate the camera while in game. You know, I could muck around with the gizmo, but nah, <laughs> it'll only be one line of code anyway. So go ahead and create a script. Call it camera controller. I'll open that up. All right, so just go ahead in the update. I'm just going to say uh, transform. There's so many ways we could do this. It's probably one of the shortest. Transform dot rotate. Uh, rotate. Let's see, I think it's a capital R. Like transform dot rotate. All right, and so now in in the x axis, which is uh, the up and down, right? Because the x axis is uh, this one, right? And you rotate around that axis. All right, so I'm going to say transform dot rotate. Uh, 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 input dot get uh, get axes. All right, so that's going to be our up down arrows. Uh, vertical. 
All right. And also, I'm just going to make that, I'm going to invert that. I'm just going to make that a negative. So up means, up means rotate up and down means rotate down. Okay. And also uh, for the, for the left, right, that's input uh, uh, horizontal, right? Because that's your, that's your Y axis, your Y axis up down. So you can go left and right. Okay. So input dot get axis horizontal. And nothing on the Z axis for now. Okay, so that's our camera controller done, I believe. I'm wondering why I'm getting a little, little squiggly there. The name transform does not exist. It does exist. Oh, transform, transform. Okay, fair enough. Transform. Okay. Cool. Let's go ahead back into Unity. I'm just going to drop that on my main camera. Like so, how am I getting these X's? My, you know, it's so weird. I just did a complete reboot of my computer, like wiped everything, and it's been really slow since I did that. It's like, it's not fair. It's meant to be fast. Oh, well. okay. Let's see, let's, let's see how it's going now. Okay, we should be getting that new blue color. All right, so now I can do this hot pink. And let's see, if I rotate, rotate on the, oh yeah, it's really slow. Oh man, I hope it's recording okay. Anyway, so if I rotate on the X and Y axis, we're able to see like some sort of some sort of shape we're able to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do a little. Oh, I'm sure I could get some sort of picture going. Oh no, it's completely glitching out. Look, look, my hands aren't even on it. It's still rotating. Man, okay. Anyway, um, let's see. Oh, at least do a little. At least do a little smiley face. Rotate up a little bit like that. I really feel like drawing like Space Invaders characters for some reason. Yeah, anyway, this is so slow. Um, yeah, yeah, so th that's pretty much the basics of getting that sphere thing going. Um, yeah, 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 lots, lots, lots we can sort of get into next.